Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about valence electrons and how you can use the periodic table to illustrate and diagram them. Let's get started. Atoms are made up of neutrons, protons, and electrons. The nucleus of an atom is made up of positive protons and neutrons. And electrons are found surrounding the nucleus in shells. These shells can be numbered either numerically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or with the letters K, L, M, N, O, P, and Q. So let me work a couple demonstrations, and these work for the atomic numbers 1 through 18. After this, uh, it, there are other rules that apply and it's not as straightforward. So let's get started with the element carbon. So step one is you can locate uh, carbon on the periodic table and you will notice that it is in the row or period number two. So that tells you that it's going to have two shells. Next you need to figure out the number of electrons that carbon has. Since it has six protons and has a neutral charge it will have six electrons. Next, you begin to fill up the shells, starting from the lowest energy shell and working outward. Now, there's a couple rules for filling up the shells. For these examples, you will need to know that shell one or K will hold two, shell two or L will hold eight, up to eight, and 3 or M will hold up to 8 also. So you always fill in the lower energy before the outer. So since carbon has 6 electrons, you will put 2 electrons in the first energy shell, and then you will put 4 in the second, and it looks like this. There's another way you can demonstrate called the Lewis dot structure and that looks like this and you basically just take the electrons in the outer shell which are your valence electrons and then write them around the symbol and that's what this looks like let's work another example let's look at sulfur because it kinda has a higher number 16 sulfur is in period 3 so I know it's going to have three shells it has 16 electrons because it has 16 protons I will place two in the first shell. Remember, you always fill up the first shell and work out. Two in the first, eight in the second, and that leaves six left over. And you'll see they are in the outer shell, so you have six valence electrons. And then if you do a Lewis dot structure, it looks like this. So there we go, illustrating and using the periodic table for your valence electrons. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.